Hi there, my name is James Spence. I am the founder of Freedom Through Education Nepal. We started in 2015 in the city of Kathmandu. It was uh, a bunch of children who were working on the street, burning plastic to stay warm at night and collecting rubbish to survive. So um, when I saw how how they struggled to stay warm at night and I could see that they didn't have enough money to uh, buy extra clothing. I decided to step in and do my best to try and make change for these kids and bring some help to them by providing at first clothing and food. And that was actually in 2013, 2013. In 2015 I was in Northern New South Wales and Mullumbimby in Northern New South Wales, Australia. And I heard about the earthquakes in, in, in 2015. So three weeks after the earthquakes, I was on a plane flying back to Kathmandu where I went to help and give my support. And what I did then was look for the children first of all. When I found them and found them okay and, some, and in, in good condition, but all sh shaken up, I then went and spent my time helping other small organisations, small teams, uh, uh, helping out in any way I could by um, reconstruction and um, support and uh, bringing food and so forth. Then at the end of that time I went and spent some time working with other teams further into the country and helping erect um, emergency shelters for the oncoming monsoon. The ground was still shaking, there were still quite a few smaller tremors that continued for quite some months and during that time I worked with these other teams. Then eventually I went back to Kathmandu on my last month before flying out back to Australia and I found these kids again and I asked them did they want to go to school, did they want an education. Uh, these children took two weeks to give me a response and when they did they said that could I help their younger brothers and sisters and friends. So I did. I said take me to your friends, your families, your homes. And when I got there and I met these kids and I met their parents, I learnt that they could not afford to actually put their own kids into school. So most of these families were growing, their children were growing up without any form of education other than what they were learning on the street. And so I asked, you know, which kids I could help. So I got seven kids in that year. This is all I could afford to put in seven children that I could sponsor myself. At the end of that time, I flew back to Australia. After a few more weeks, I flew back to Australia. And then I realized then that I would not, not be able to afford to do it again next year, that these kids would need a continuation of their education if I was to be able to help in one year, I must be able to help in the next year. And to change the, 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 their plight of poverty, the only way I could see that this could be done is if I could provide an education for these children to help them to learn the skills of reading, writing and doing maths. And so that basically was it. When I started doing my first stall at the Melville Markets in Perth, Western Australia in 2016, another young man came along and offered support to do a fundraiser for me. He offered to step in and help me and I was so thankful for this because that was the only reason that we were actually able to help more kids in that year in 2016 when I returned to Nepal. The man who stopped in to help was Julian Silvan who was a sound healer inside of the Perth city. Um, since then, since 2016, we have been going right through to now year 2022 there have been seven fundraisers since then and a number of organisations have stepped in to help being uh, Vic Park Rotary Club and they have helped out immensely foot towards us and also uh, the Seroptimus being Judy Toll was the woman who helped us find support there and organisation in Kathmandu was uh, Patan South of Kathmandu Rotary Club they also lent support and since those days we also have now uh, we've had one full-time worker who's since now um, abandoned the project and gone on to his own 
uh, way of living. The, we, our new worker is Bikram Sapoti, uh, Bikram Sapoti and he is now our new project manager on the ground in Kathmandu. We have children in two schools now. We did have them in four different schools. Now we only have two schools. That's Saraswati Nikitan in Tiku Kathmandu and, and um, Rastriya Basic School also in Tiku Kathmandu. Uh, the 31 children we put through school, we also support their mothers. With their mothers, we've, we had in a program, a sewing program, in 2019, I was able to set up a small workshop. I brought two sewing machines, uh, pedal power sewing machines, because there was blackouts in Kathmandu. And these, with these pedal power sewing machines, we were able to get um, uh, four of the mothers trained in the basic skills of sewing. Because these mothers themselves could not read or write because uh, they also had not ever been to school, uh, we had to get them to learn basic stuff, which was making bag making. And so we want to in, uh, can, uh, continue that idea and that, that uh, providing a skill set for the parents of the children as much as possible in 20, sorry, 2022, which is now. Um, there's a fundraiser going on uh, on the 1st of October 2022.